one look at these numbers and you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell did he just do? Did he seriously turn on easy mode? Yeah, maybe that is kind of what I did here. So basically what I was trying to do was grind up enough money so that I could get equipment for everybody. Like, I got a magic coin gold ring. I think I already had that. But more so, I was looking to give it to Lloyd here, so I got him with the magic coin gold ring and a fire pendant. I still have earth pendant myself, but I've heard the fire pendant's pretty good. So, like, for dealing with the exploding monsters, why am I using the analog stick? I have no idea. Also, why am I not running? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, in case I haven't said it, hi guys. Or I was gonna say, howdy, my Pikachu petting peasants. But, you know, that'd be good too. Oh, we got a bear. A bear! I said that last time. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... So I'm recording this again. This is actually the first time I've recorded this in maybe a week and a half, because I recorded, like, all the first eight episodes all at once. So now, it's like I'm kind of on a different session here, and I don't know if I really remember what I'm doing. I remember there's plenty of, um, critical hits, though. Or critical hips, you know, which you shouldn't stare at. Anyway, stop using the analog. Oh, I'm playing too much Hades, so I'm using the analog stick. The words are coming to my mind faster than I can even put them out of my mouth, man. Let me tell you, sometimes that just happens. So anyway, we got a wolf here. Just gonna go ahead and off this guy. So yeah, so we're probably maybe a little higher level than is necessary. I don't know, but I've also been told by a certain source who shall remain nameless that this factory building up here is not only huge, but also that apparently you have to get to through it without Lloyd dying. So, I thought, you know, best to probably err on the side of caution here, and boy, am I ever erring on the side of caution. Man, I am so cautious right now, you have no idea. Like, I can't lose. I literally can't, and I'm probably going to be gaining even more levels, even on the way through here, judging by the encounter right here. But let me tell you, Cougar draws near, Skunk draws near, it's going to be stinking. Let me tell you, it's going to be stank. But, you know, that's just par for the course. Just don't get any critical hips on Poulter and we'll be fine. Who was it that said Critical Hips? Was that Splittable Infinitive? I wonder what she's up to these days. I remember meeting her at PAX Prime. She was pretty cool. Um, I think she even bought a Majora's Mask Perler from me when I was there. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I should start making Perlers again, though. That was always fun. Oh, jeez, we got another Barbisha. You know, Clitorisandria here. Like, <laughs> actually. Yeah, never mind. Okay, all right. Barbara, so I was, uh, when am I going to start cutting these out? I don't know. I'm just too busy talking right now. Let's see. Wait, where are we going? I'm not going back the way I just came. Okay, that's good. Also, you can run diagonally. I keep forgetting we can do that. So we got another card! Card! Man, I tell you. If anybody ever wonders what that's from, it's like, uh... We used to have two cats, Pixie and Dixie. And this one time I was making a tape and they were playing around the Christmas tree, which they weren't supposed to be doing. And I could never get them to get away from it. And the only way I could make them, like, get away from it was to go, Kurt! They just hated it when I did that. So that's pretty much it. That's the story. And I'm sticking to it. Mm. Speaking of sticking to it, man, I got so lucky at the gym today on Spotify. I put on Blessed Union of Souls. Now say what you want about me listening to a band called Blessed Union of Souls, but like, they got some good shit. And like, a lot of times when I'm at the gym, sometimes I don't want to listen to music that I've already heard. I mean, I well, it's like I say that, like, it's always been that way, but really I kind of just discovered that today. Like, I don't know, it's like I kind of want to get into some new stuff, so I put them on. Oh, this must be it. And it played two songs that I never heard, never heard from them, and then it played If She Couldn't Sleep, which I had originally been looking for that song, but, but it didn't seem to be in the thing. No problem. Do I just need to talk to you? This factory is Mr. Duncan's private property. Let's see your pass. Oh, I got that. I got that. Oh, oh, I need to use it. Um. Oh, please tell me I have it. Please, dear God, here it is. Please tell me I don't have to carry this around, because one thing I'm kind of worried about is inventory space here. If this place is as big as people say it is, then, uh, look me in the eye. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, the only thing missing is the Undertale Doggo song. Oh, it's just a stray dog, good lord. Let's finish you off. But yeah, so, I don't know, like, I wouldn't expect anybody else to like that song if she couldn't sleep, and I think I've actually talked about it in some other video, but... But it was funny that it would play that song, and I was really, like, it was a one in a million shot that it actually would, because I don't think it was a single, as far as I know. Okay, so, alright, here's the thing. I brought up a map of this place, but I haven't looked at it yet, because I wanted to be recording the first time I saw it. They said it was, like, really big. So I'm about to click over here and just bring this thing up, and let me see. 
Holy God. Oh, they weren't kidding. Can I zoom out here? <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see if I. Oh, I'm zoom. I'm at 175. What am I doing up there? Down to 100. Holy shit. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while, guys. Let me tell you. Like, where's the entrance? Where am I right now? <laughs> I think I'm right there. Okay. All right. Well, let's just. Uh... Ugh, which way do I want to go first? Maybe left. It looks like there's some good stuff over here. Oh boy. Well, hopefully the encounter rate is as low here as it... Oh my god. What are these... Doctor what? Doctor Distorto? Um, how many Doctor Distortos are in here? Are they like a whole family or something? Or do they all have different names? I mean, I'm assuming... Oh god, what is that? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, I might have to start using some shield magic or something. Or maybe just figure out which one is the shield. <laughs> Of course, as long as I only suffer one of those per fight, I can always just heal in between. The only problem is, I don't have limitless PSI here, but I do have that PSI stone. Just have to see. Let me see something else. Did I get rid of that pass? Yes, it did. Okay. I got a Noble Seed, which apparently get, removes confusion. It's like a one-time use item. So probably if I run out of space, I might end up throwing that out. I really should have taken the GGF's diary back to, like, wherever. Scrapper? Oh man, it's like that, 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 that thing in Mother 3, remember that boss? That was like a whole bunch of junk put together? That's what this guy is. Except not nearly as much junk. He's got what appears to be a fishing lure stuck into his side. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We didn't kill him on the first round? That's bad. Yeah, I guess 23 damage ain't gonna get you too far. They are made of metal though, so... Couldn't expect aluminum bat on metal to really be all that good. We just need to stay on top of, uh... Stay on top of Poulter's HP here. Yeah. I should probably do it again, actually. Was it this door here? This one has something. Alright, who are you talking to? No, I actually pressed the right button this time. Life up cream! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, if we have to, you know. Well, let's use items, too. Ugh, oh, there's a lot of robots in here. That's better. Yeah. That other time I only hit him for 43, or 23. Alright, maybe that was Poulter's hit, I don't know. Anyway, Scrapper was destroyed. Picked up Laser Beam? Ooh, is that a weapon by any chance? <laughs> if it was, probably, uh, well here, let's just check it out. Da -da 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 -da, laser Beam, it helps that sissy Poulter. What? Why are they so mean to Poulter, man? You guys, oh my god, man. Oh, alright then, okay, who are you talking to? I don't know, I'm not talking to anybody. Alright, here we go. Nothing happened. Oh, maybe it's like you use it as an item or something? Kind of like the bazooka in Earthbound, maybe? Oh boy. Oh god, Dr. Distorto, this is... Oh boy, oh man, this is gonna be a... I think I want to make sure I kill him rather than spread my attacks out here. Oh, he ran away. What the? He took his robot with him. All right then, leave and take your book with you. Don't you understand? The information in here is worth millions, and I'm giving it to you. Well, that's very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, quick capsule, yeah. Quick draw and draw, let's go. Uh, da -da. who do I use this on, though? Ugh. I guess I might as well. I don't know, though. Like, do I need him to be fast? Like, I kind of need myself to be fast, because I got the highest attack here. Um, oh, there we go, pressing R. So, ugh. Again, with the whole Hades, you press R to, like, talk to people and check stuff out. It's, like, really weird. Hmm. Physical capsule, okay. That, I could see. I mean, since I gave all the other ones to myself, might as well give some to him, too. After all, he's the one we're trying to keep alive here. One more. I assume this is gonna be a, a wisdom capsule. Yeah! Don't mind if I do. Wisdom caps! His wisdom is increased by four, yeah. And are we okay on... Well, here, let me do this. Let me see where his max HP is actually at, anyway. Oh, he's at 89 now, holy crap. I thought he was still in the 70s. Like, lower 70s. Which is where I wish the temperature was right now, but good lord. Supposedly, later this week, it's gonna hit 100 on one of the days. I'm like, wow, dude. I seriously, like, next time there's a conspiracy, theor conspiracy theories thread on Reddit, 
I want to go in there and say something like, I think they fudge the average high temperatures so that weather reports will be more interesting. Because they say the average high here is 89 in July. I don't think it is. Because there's... <laughs> I don't even think it's 90, like, I don't know, you see way more streaks of over 90 than you see under 90, I'll tell you that. And it's the same thing in winter, too, like in Wisconsin in the winter. I don't remember what the averages were up there, but it was always colder than what the average said. And it's like, I know, winter's supposed to be cold, summer's supposed to be hot, but that doesn't change the fact that the average is the average. I don't know, did I just gain a level? I thought I did. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know, it's probably some crap like all the heat index or some shoot, you know, with that X, that cross-legged X, you know, anyway. X! Oh boy. Now it's gonna get out of here. Man, I haven't cut out the fireball! Yum! Something tells me... Here, here, let me try something. Um, laser beam, go. Unless he dies before... Oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, is this gonna hit both of us here? Somebody about to get beat up here? Oh, it's a good thing. What? Wait, I thought he had the fire ring on. Oh, you know what? I think those are actually, like, resistant against the opposite element. Because I have Earth, which is resistant to lightning, so his fire would be resistant to ice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah! Oh, man. Can I be any more annoying? Yeah, but, like, they're always trying to make the weather reports more interesting by saying, you know, hey, we're smashing all these records. It's like, oh, yeah, like we did last year and the year before that. whoop de doo you know? I don't know, it just starts to not even mean anything anymore. So let me see here. Where are we headed? It's apparently... Oh, gosh. There is so much in here. Okay, I'm gonna head this way. Should be a bomb, I guess. Like, I don't know if I really need to go pick up all these bombs. That's what it says there is in these rooms. There was bomb! NCS got bomb! I guess I'm the bomb. So yeah, I mean, is it even... I don't know, is it even worth it here? I'm gonna pause for a second and just look at this. Yeah, okay, we'll just head over there and uh, see if we can get up there. Man, do I even bother showing all this? Like, it's all it all looks the same. It's like, uh, I don't know. I can just cut to the door and say, oh, this is here, and this is here, and this is here. But like, I'm not really making a walkthrough here. This is like... This is an experience. And I have to savor every ounce of suffering every, you know, morsel of exquisite agony that I can possibly pilfer from this experience is what I gotta do. Good lord, this Dr. Distorto... You know, I was talking earlier about, is it a family of Dr. Distortos? But if he keeps running away, then it would make sense for the same man. Okay, never mind, he gained all senses. Oh, well, that's why it's the same man. Because he regains all his senses, and then he comes back and attacks you again later. Like an asshole, you know? Because that's what he is, folks! He's an asshole! No, 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 don't do that. Don't you dare even think about doing that. It's a good thing I grinded him up, let me tell you. <laughs> He's got some pretty decent HP, though, I will say. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Like, you look at Jeff and Earthbound, I think his max HP, or typically, by comparison to Ness, is usually, like, maybe half. But, unless I'm remembering wrong, maybe it's better than that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, up the wall. It's like a little red thing on the wall here. So that's a bomb right there. So we're just gonna skip that, and we're gonna go up here, and then we're gonna get attacked by Doctor again. Nope, just the robot this time. I guess the Doctor abandoned you. How does that make you feel, Mr. Robot? Hmm. Not too good, apparently. So, okay, so I haven't really talked about what else I know about this game. There are two things specifically that I remember seeing. One is something I'd kind of rather not say because it's a little spoilery. And then, of course, well, I'm not counting the final battle when I say this, but I've seen, like, a scene with Ness and Anna, or, I mean, Nintem and Anna. So, it's probably the most important scene for them, I guess. I don't know. Oh, let me see where I'm going to go from here. Okay, I'm just going to run back the way I came here, so blah, blah, blah. It's gonna be too big a deal. Oh no, he's back to being bad again, folks. He's back to being an asshole. The asshole returns, and the underwear shudders. Oh, man, he actually attacked. Oh, wow. Scrapper's ready for an attack. Oh. Oh, maybe that's like he ups his defense, and that's why I did 23 that other time. Does that carry over into this round? Let's find out. Doesn't seem like it. Mmm, mmm. Could be that, too. Maybe he's setting up for a crit, you know, on the next hit or something. It's like swords dance, you know, but... 
I don't know, I haven't never really used sword dance extensively before, maybe I should. Oh, big bag. Mm. Oh, dude, do you know what you're doing? I just had to, like, stop and reboot for a second there. That's so weird when that happens. Um, uh, maybe go ahead and do it one more time. Alright, looking good. At first I thought that said Palter's HP is revered by whatever the number was. Uh, oh, man. They look like Starman a little bit, and it reminds me of, like, Super Starman. You know, they're, like, the same color... Um... Palette, whatever you call it. Color... Orientation. I know there's a word, so it's not coming to mind. Ah, uh, I don't miss those days, though, of trying to get that Old King's Sword, or... Bleh. Old King's Sword, seriously, that's, that's what my brain is telling me it's called. It's called the Sword of Kings, you dumbass. You dumbass. Look get that, you know, that little clip of Brett Favre that I used in the TMNT sequelitis. Put it in here. So that's... wait, wait, is that...? No, it's further over. Okay, it's... This should be where we came in, right here. Yeah. Okay, that looks right. So we're just gonna head over here, and I believe down here... I'm really glad I'm using a map for this, because I would not want to get lost in here. Oh. I would not want to be a child in the 80s. I can't imagine what that must have been like. Of course, this was 1989, technically, so maybe a child in the 90s. But I don't know what that's like either. I wasn't around then. Oh boy, I just advanced to the next level. I was going to cut the rest of that fight out. I probably still will. Because after that insane lie just now, I just did not know how to follow that up. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you just say something so incredible that you can't even believe it in. That's almost as unbelievable as two people gaining a level at the same time, which just happened here. Because he's getting so close to my level now that it's probably taken about as much XP for him to gain a level as it is for me. What are we going to do when the next party member joins? Is this right? Wait a minute, this doesn't look right. Uh, yeah, no, this is right, this is right. And... Ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, bottle rocket, yeah. I got the bottle rocket. What am I going to do with a bottle rocket? I don't know how to use those things. Can't carry anything else. Okay, now it's time to start cleaning up. Wait, no, 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 no. All right, I'm going to eat the hamburger. I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and drop the noble seed. And just pray to God nothing happens, but... <laughs> if anything, I feel like I should have brought a, an asthma cream with me, because I ran into that situation at some point when I was grinding. I don't know if I was recording when that happened, but man... The Flash Dark is also for, like, blinding enemies, which, you know, it's not like a one-time use or irreplaceable item, so not too worried about it. There's probably PSI that does that, too. Wait, is somebody sick? Hang on a second. I thought I saw, like, flashing. I don't know if it would tell you here if you were. It's gonna keep... I'm not sure if I'm just imagining that. I keep thinking I've seen the screen flash. Ah, uh, let's see, so... we got the bottle rockets. So now we'll just head over here and all the way to the right. Enclosed is something called the Chili Dog. What? Wait, what is this? I was looking at the map, sorry, I didn't even notice. Um, <laughs> Oh, bomber. Oh, that's not good. Oh, bomber, use the bomb. Oh no, it's gonna be like, holy crap, no, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. We gotta get rid of that thing. Please don't have, like, a death attack. Oh. Holy crap. Okay, that's scary. Pick the bomb. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll use a bomb on him instead. Good lord. Alright, let's just heal up here, then. I'm not sure I know where I am right now. I think I kind of lost track here. Like, red spots on the walls. Hmm. There should be, like, another ladder going down if I'm where I think I am. Eh, I'm just gonna keep running, I guess. <laughs> I think I know where I am. I think I went down. I wasn't supposed to. Okay, yeah, I think I think I might have just taken a wrong turn. Taken a wrong turn here. I guess as long as I'm here, I might as well grab this. <laughs> Got the rope. I don't know if I really need that. I'm just gonna clean some stuff out here. Okay, I think I'm good. I just went down. Somehow I ended up on the bottom. I thought I went up, but <laughs> that shows what I know. Man, I love climbing ladders fast. Lovely. Okay, so... Alright, all healed up from that fireball attack, and whoa! Hoo-yah! Where were we? Alright, we're about to climb a ladder. Here we go. Oh. Should've brought that repel ring. 
I'm gonna try using a bomb on this just to see what happens. That is, if he doesn't go first. Oh, he just attacked this time. Ugh. I wish he would do that more often. Oh, wow. Okay, bombs are pretty underwhelming. Then again, they were in Earthbound too, so... <laughs> you know what? I don't mind. It's that much less I have to carry around with me. So there's something over here. I don't know what this is, but... We're about to see. Like, I see what it says, but I'm not sure... Well, let's see. The super spray! The supercharge! Maybe I can take a look at it. Uh, let's see. Super spray industrial strength insecticide! Ah, okay. Well, in that case, I'm guessing... Might want to give that to the man here. Yeah. How are we looking on space, anyway? Yeah, we got one space each. Yeah, we should be good. Won't have to stay totally empty here. It's not like a, it's not like our gas tank or something. So which way do we want to? We want to go up from here. Zoom. There'll be a lot of ladders here. Two and then three. That was weird. I had two smashes on that old robot. The first one did 39, and the second one did 93. Weird. All right. All right. Up the ladder. Wait, is this the last ladder? No, there's one more. Going to base moss. So I heard from somebody that the big bag here is actually, like, limitless. That seems way OP to me, so I'm not... I mean, it's like, I don't want to say I don't believe you because I do. That seems, like, really crazy, though. Uh, let me see something here. Uh, da -da -da. That's just another bomb. I don't know if I want that, really. What is this over here? What? Um... Okay... That's weird. I guess we'll go get it, because it would definitely be useful. I'm not going to say what, what it says that's there, but that's kind of weird, though. Lonely days, lonely nights. If I had to pick, like, a least favorite Bee Gees song, it's probably that one. <laughs> She's cool, though. Anyway, Franklin Badge. Yeah, there's, like, a second Franklin Badge, so now I have two Franklin Badges here. Two times in a row, man! I try to get electrocuted, and it bounces back! Okay. That's really weird, though. Alright. Is there anything else I want to do here? What is this over here? That's Life Up Cream, that's Bottle Rocket. I mean, I guess I should probably get as many Bottle Rockets as I can. I don't know how broken they are, because Lord knows in the Earthbounds they could be. At least certain ones, certain uh, intensities of them could be. So it'd be like two ladders over. I guess I'll go get it. We haven't been in here that long, and since I'm using a map, I feel sort of almost like I'm cheating a little bit, then again. So we had maps in the old days, too. It's a little thing called Nintendo Power, let me tell you. I used to be so fascinated by the, how they could make maps of video game areas, because you would never see the character on the map, and it's like, how did they get the screenshot of it without the character? They would have had to, like, take a screenshot and scroll half a screen over, take another screenshot of the same area, so that they could overlap the two and have the character not be there. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, when the big bag was emptied, it disappeared into thin air. Okay, so, oh wow. There is a limit to it. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad, actually, because I've been relying a little heavily on that. Damn, I wonder if I can get another one of those. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, we're just gonna fight Mr. Dr. Doodoo over here. Oh, man. Don't die in one hit. It's gonna waste Pulter's hit now. Demeat. Alright, if I'm taking all the time to go get this, maybe I should actually use one somewhere in here. Cause I gotta be running out of space again. Well, let's see, I'm taking the bottle rocket for myself, so what do we got? Oh, I still have a slot. Well, I guess since I lost the big bag. Well, I'll have him use one, maybe just as an experiment to see. I don't know, so, like, where are we right now? Okay, I see where I need to go, and it's a long way from here, so let me, so get your, uh, um, t t tennis shoes on, I don't know, <laughs> like, what else do you, I don't know, like, what else do you say to prepare people for a long walk? Oh! <laughs> Tripped and fell, didn't know that could happen. Yeah, so I guess that bomb is actually kind of a rare attack of his. First thing I thought of was Earthbound, the guys in the, they're like... I don't remember what they're called, the little triangle faces. They're like a bunch of sh... Bleh. 
Man, we should be gaining another level here pretty soon, I think. I don't know. It's like, I guess up now. Wait, what? Okay, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid the deflector shield will be quite operational when your friends run. <laughs> Dude, what? I'm trying to quote the Emperor over here. I'm trying to quote Emperor Poopatine. Man. It's like Ovaltine, but it's Poopatine. What do we got? Force of the poop capsule. Here we go, baby. Oh, uh, goods. I can use that right now. I'll use it on you. Well, I hope that wasn't a total... Maybe I should have... Oh, God. What if I should have saved that for Anna? All right. Let's get on out here. Yeah, I was thinking, though, if wisdom is his thing, then wisdom is probably not, like, magic power. So maybe force is. I really should have, like, done my research better here. But oh, well. I don't want to research too much because, like, I don't want to... I mean, it's like I say, I don't want to be spoiled, and I don't know how much there really is that I haven't seen. In fact, I don't know if I mentioned what the other thing was that I know. And the thing is, I'm not real clear on what it is. It's just there's something big happens on the mountain, I know. Something involving a robot. Either you fight one, or there's one that, like, fights for you and sacrifices itself or something. Something like that, I don't really know. Guess we'll see as time goes on. Anyway. Whoa. That wasn't the lights flickering, was it? Oh, jeez. Totally calm weather outside. In fact, it's very hot. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of sound. Where'd the monsters go? I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out on the rain. Beep, beep. Okay, I'm gonna try... Oh, man. Well, I said, where are the monsters? I guess I got my answer. I guess I got my answer questioned. Okay, y'all, let's see what this A... Well, A is just an indicator that it goes to the next room, but, uh... We're both at full health. Everything's good. Oh. That's guns. Maybe we can use the bottle rocket on these. Should I maybe, uh... Let's see. So I maybe, like, switch some stuff around here, you know? What can I... He's got two of them. You know what? We're not gonna use all of them, I'm sure. Well, let's just check this out. Aim on the rock. Okay, one, two, three, fire! That's not good. Where's that headed? New Jersey? No problem. I guess we did it. No problem. It's gonna wind up that one of these, like, has something... No, okay. Maybe there's something in the wall. No, <laughs> okay, I'm done here. I think that's all I needed to do. I'm not sure what... Well, he was, he was saying that maybe the rocket from the factory would eliminate the thing blocking the train tracks, so maybe that's what that did? Just have to go find out. Actually, we might have to find out in the next video, because I don't know how long this is right now. Um, <laughs> not very long. Oh my god, 41 minutes, yeah. By the time you cut out the fights, though, there's not going to be much left, so it'll be a pretty normal video, but yeah. So next time on Mother 1, we'll go see if the train tracks got unblocked. I guess that's why you needed Lloyd alive at the end, though. It's because he's the only one who could do that. I don't know how to flip an on-off switch, apparently. <laughs> Alright. You win! Doom!